friends. Excuse my voice. I am losing my voice a teeny tiny bit, but I, it doesn't hurt and I have an empty house at the moment, so I had to jump on the opportunity to make a quick video. Um, I am gonna be starting this new series called Sunday Swap Outs, where I come in every Sunday and share one little swap, it, swap that you can do in your household um, to swap something that you use frequently that tends to have more harmful chemicals in it to a more natural, environmentally friendly and healthy product that you can either DIY or that you can just buy if you'd prefer. So a lot of these are gonna be easy DIYs that are gonna save you money and help the environment and your health. So the thing I decided to start with today is hand soap. Since we all use that all day long, as a stay-at-home mom and someone who cooks a lot, I use a ton of hand soap. So a lot of the hand soaps that you can buy in the stores have more harmful chemicals in them, things that you want to avoid. Um, one thing that you definitely always want to avoid in any product that you ever, ever buy is if it says fragrance on the label. And the reason for that is because the FDA does not require companies to disclose what specific ingredients they use as fragrance because those are considered trade secrets. So that basically just means that it creates this giant loophole and companies can use any products that they're any uh, ingredients that they want without disclosing them as long as they are listed or considered fragrance. And a lot of those products can be things like phthalates, which we've heard about in like plastic kids toys and things like that, which have been linked to cancer and other kinds of health issues. So for lots and lots of reasons that I could go on about all day, always avoid fragrance, unless you are adding your own scents with natural products. So we are gonna add a scent to this, but it's gonna be with natural stuff. It's all gonna be good for you, so no worries there. Um, other things you wanna avoid are parabens, which are hormone disruptors. Parabens can mimic estrogen, and when your body thinks that there is too much estrogen, then it can do things like reducing muscle mass, um, increasing fat deposits, and really messing with your reproductive system. Um, I've had reproductive issues myself, and I don't know if any other people have, but that's definitely something that I try to avoid. Um, try to keep everything really natural and healthy for the hormones. And, um, Another thing is you don't need to be buying all the antibacterial stuff. Everyone thinks that we've gotta be doing the antibacterial soaps this time of year. The FDA has found that those are actually not even more effective for preventing illness than just regular old soap and water. So don't worry about that stuff. Don't create any more super bugs. Let's just use our regular soap. So here's how we're gonna do it. I use a glass container and that way I can use citrus oils if I want. Um, citrus oils and plastic don't get along well, so don't mix those two. Um, but if you're not using citrus oils, then feel free to use a plastic foaming soap container. Um, this is for a foaming soap that we're gonna make, and this is the pump that came with my bottle. So I'm gonna add in, my base is uh, Castile soap. I use Dr. Bronner's Baby Unscented um, because I just wanna be able to create my own scents. So I don't even measure really. I just kind of eyeball and I pour in Probably a little bit less than a quarter of the bottle. And then I add a squirt of vegetable glycerin. Whoop. And this can really kind of increase that nice, rich, foamy lather. So just a good squirt of that. And then because it's winter and dry skin is everywhere this time of year, I use some coconut oil. You can use grapeseed, you can use olive, you can use just any kind of um, oil that you'd like. Probably gonna use a couple tablespoons worth. Just gonna kind of guesstimate it here. We're gonna call that enough. And then you can use any kind of oil combinations that you want. Since it's winter, my favorite winter blend is Thieves and Orange. Thieves, if you haven't heard me talking about it already, I'm sure you have, but if you're new around here, Thieves is like my BFF in the winter. It has a blend of um, lemon, eucalyptus, cinnamon, and rosemary. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything there. Um, but it's formulated based on the legend of the grave robbers from the time of the plague. And they would 
put all these herbs together and wear them on their bodies to protect themselves as they robbed the dead bodies from getting the plague. So <laughs> that's why I use thieves in the winter because I don't want to get the plague. <laughs> Not really. I mean, kind of, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so I'm gonna do about 10 drops of this because this is a kind of a larger bottle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I were doing one of the smaller kind of standard sized plastic pumps, I'd use less. And then orange. Orange I just love because it's such a happy oil um, and it pairs really, really well with thieves. So it's brightening, energizing. Three, four, five, six, seven eight drops of orange and that's pretty much it you guys I just fill the rest of it with water and then shake it up I use tap water you can use distilled if you're fancy obviously I'm not <laughs> so I just use whatever's easy I don't always have time to go with the distilled water so that's it give it a quick shake shake it every so often because it can kind of separate a little bit so I just shake it every few uses maybe like once or twice a, once a day or once every two days if you want and you really want to like get into this you can also buy these little foamy hand soap dispensers and make your own little version of this and carry it around with you um, that's totally an option if you're traveling that's a good option too so I hope this is helpful and if you have other um, oil combos or other scents that you like to use in your hand soap, let me know. If you have a specific hand soap scent that you want and I can try to recreate that for you, I'd also be happy to do that. That sounds really fun. So happy Sunday, everybody. Hopefully the next time I talk to you, my voice will be back a little bit and hope everyone stays healthy. Bye.